Hello, Peptide Guru here, Lorston Crockett, and I've just had some very important information come across my desk, so I wanted to get this out to you as quickly as we can. Now, you know in the past we've talked about that we're not big fans of injectable peptides that really haven't been approved for human use, and there are side effects. So today, FDA mandates select peptides ineligible for compounding, and I think you're really going to be surprised about the list I'm going to tell you here. And then we'll go over a little bit more facts afterwards. So effective uh, of November 1st, 2023, you can no longer get these uh, peptides, even from a compounding pharmacy. Um, let's start with the list. AOD 9604, BPC 157. Guys, how many times have we talked about BPC 157? Everybody thinks it's great, but we're going to talk about more side effects that we found out recently is going on. CJC 1295. Dihexa, Epitalin, um, GHKCU injectable form, uh, IPAM, Ipamorlin, uh, Kisip Kispeptin, KPV, LL37, Melatonin 2, MK677, CMAX, c -Link. All these peptides now, injectable form, have been disbanded and ineligible for sale for human consumption especially in an injectable form. And we've been finding out more and more side effects that people have been suffering from. And it comes back to what we spoke about before. Where are the compounding pharmacies getting these peptides? Are they coming from Russia? Are they coming from China? How pure are they? So a compound pharmacy could be following all the guidelines they need to, but if their source is not pure, there's going to be side effects. Plus, we don't know a lot about this. These peptides are being used and they don't have a lot of history and the research behind them that go along with it. So one of our most popular ones, the BPC-157, everyone's talking about it. I've gotten more phone calls about that than ever. So I guess, you know, we talked about it before that you have to inject it three to four times a day. Uh, side effects are nausea, upset stomach. Another thing we found out is that it seems to be crashing your serotonin levels. So this is bringing on um, um, a mental disorder uh, crash fatigue and weakness. A lot of these, of these other peptides have been showing this. After four to six weeks of use, many, many people are starting to have uh, mental issues, crashing, uh, nervousness, uh, anxiety, stress-related fatigue, and weakness. So what we were doing, thinking we we're going to get there by using these peptides because they didn't have the research and they're not coming from a pure source, they're now side effects. So do not play Russian roulette with something that you don't know is pure and you're injecting it into your body. And again, you might be able to find some sites online that will be selling this illegally and they're going to say for not for human consumption, but they're still going to sell it to you and try to get you to understand that you can still use this. Please don't do it. We don't know the full length of the side effects that's going to happen. Compared to the ingestible hexatide peptide, that's been used for over 20 years that bypasses the ingestion of the stomach and goes directly into the blood and has the 18 amino acids and the 21 naturally occurring growth factors in the peptide. And this is where you're getting the results that you want. Getting rid of joint pain, lean muscle mass, um, increasing your lifespan between 10 to 30%. This has been researched. And a matter of fact, the hexatide peptide is the peptide that just won the International Award in Hong Kong for top pet product because we have a pet division. And remember, dogs and cats and horses, they don't know placebo effects. So we're still getting these great effects. We've been doing this for 20 years where these Johnny-come-latelys now have put a blemish on the peptide world using these injectables. So again, this is your peptide guru giving you an update. Please be careful. If you want to live the peptide life like I have for 20 years, then listen, go to the Genostem website, and look at the research. Look at all the amino acids. And we have the definition of what they're doing. Look at all the naturally occurring growth factors, not growth hormones. Those are dangerous. Naturally occurring growth factors in a peptide form that go directly into your blood to get the results. In closing, I'd like to say that there's also some research going on right now that these injectable peptides, because they're not naturally occurring, they're synthetic, can also cause cancer. So there's my opinion. Here's what the FDA says is backing me up on it. And I hope you use this information and live the peptide knife naturally. 
and I think you're going to do great. Take care now.